Top 20 techniques people still believe. Drying tech and rice will prevent or repair water damage. It's a tale as old as time. You happen to drop your phone in the toilet at work and your well-meaning friend tells you, just put that phone in a bag of rice overnight. Well, newsflash, Ryan, if water damage has already taken place on my phone, no amount of rice is gonna fix that. Now I have a broken phone and a bag of toilet rice. Thanks a lot, man. AI is a relatively new concept. It seems like especially in the last three to five years, Everyone's talking about AI. AI this, AI that. My AI makes my toast in the morning. Which to be fair, artificial intelligence and machine learning is actually pretty cool. But it may surprise you to find out AI is actually an idea that goes all the way back to the 1840s. Seriously. An English writer named Lady Ada Lovelace said this, a machine might compose elaborate or scientific pieces of music to any degree complexity, or extent. During World War II, machine learning actually deciphered enemy messages. And you can actually find examples of AI and machine learning from the 50s all the way through to today. Closing out your phone apps makes your phone run faster. While this may have been true in the beginning days of smartphones, today's cell phones are extremely efficient at running multiple programs at once. Ironically, it actually slows them down more to reopen the app than just to leave them running in the background. Removing USB without using safe removal process will corrupt your USB or devices. If you're like me, the more important the data you're transferring is, the more stress you are about clicking safely remove storage device. Well, it might relieve you to know that as long as you're not transferring data, you can remove that USB without clicking that and you'll still be fine. It's not going to corrupt anything. Just make sure that you're done transferring before you remove your device. But to be honest, I'm still going to click that every time. Putting your batteries in the freezer will make them last longer. If you grew up in the 80s or had parents who grew up in the 80s, dad, you might think that putting batteries in the fridge or freezer makes them last longer. Well, that might have been true in the 1980s. It's not today. In the 80s, most batteries were made with mercury. So people found that if you put them in the fridge, they would actually hold their charge longer. But today's alkyne batteries have no such problem. They are actually extremely efficient in holding their charge. And actually, most manufacturers recommend keeping batteries at room temperature for best long-term battery life. You can't be tracked if you turn your phone off. Well, according to the NSA, phones can be tracked even after you turn them off. So if you truly want off the grid, you're gonna have to leave your phone behind. More bars equals better service. It's easy to see the mix up on this one, but the amount of bars on your phone only indicates the strength of your connection to your cell tower. Meaning even if you have full bars, but the cell tower has a bad internet connection, you're still gonna be slow. Higher megapixels means better pictures. It seems like every smartphone brags about how high their megapixels are. X phone has this many megapixels. The Z phone has this many megapixels. The truth is once you reach a certain amount of megapixels, the human eye cannot tell the difference. However, a higher megapixel count allows you to zoom into your photo without losing quality. So while megapixel count is important, it's not the only factor. Viruses and malware slow down your computer. Every grandma knows that if your computer's running slow, you have to have viruses, right? Right? Malware programmers actually make more money the longer their program goes without being detected. This means they've gotten extremely good at not bogging down your computer at all. Once they're found out, the game's over. Antivirus protects you 100%. While anti-malware can save your bacon, it does not give you 100% protection from malware. Malware is getting adapted and updated every day, and sometimes they can do it faster than your malware protection can keep up. So while it does keep you safe, know you're not always 100% safe. You should always buy the warranty on new tech purchases. If you've ever bought an electronic, you already know the drill. You purchase your item and then the cashier or the website asks you, would you like a warranty with this? Only to find out your warranty is 20% of the cost of the item. While in certain instances, this can be a good investment, most of these protections don't even apply to you, even if you do break your item. So always make sure to read the warranty details before making your decision. You should always let your phone die before charging. If you've ever had a cell phone battery start to go out on you, you've probably heard to let the battery die all the way before charging again. This will reset the battery's memory, right? No. Actually, modern phone batteries are really good at holding their charge. If you notice yours is starting to go out, it's probably time to replace the battery altogether. Incognito mode keeps your browser activity anonymous. While incognito mode does keep your search history secret to your device, your internet provider can still see everything you look up. Deleting items from the recycle bin means they're gone forever. While it does get rid of all visible signs of your files, there's still trace amounts of data left over that could potentially be recovered. Turning off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth saves battery. Okay, so this one's not entirely wrong, but it is a bit over-exaggerated. If you turn off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth at 100% and use your phone till it dies, you'll probably get an extra 1-3% to battery life. Not exactly worth the inconvenience. You can digitally enhance video if you have the right software. If you've ever watched a true crime show or movie about detectives, then you've seen this scene before. A bunch of cops gathered around the security cameras trying to figure out who the killer is, and somebody says, enhance that image. Hey, go ahead. 
hey, hey, why don't you enhance that image? You can only zoom in with as much clarity as the original image allows you to. The picture only has so many megapixels to begin with. As you zoom in, you're spreading out those megapixels, reducing the quality of the image. There's no way you're catching a killer's face on a car mirror two miles away. It's just not gonna happen. Premium HDMI cables always give a better picture. The truth is when it comes to HDMI cables, a digital signal is a digital signal. Doesn't matter if it's your $10 cable from Goodwill or your $100 cable from Best Buy. They're gonna be pretty much indistinguishable. Asterisk, if your cable's over 75 feet long, you probably wanna go with a better quality cable. Updating iOS will always improve your device's performance. While most of the time updating your iOS will only make things smoother, be wary when installing the first version of a new software. Oftentimes they have bugs that can slow your device down more than the old OS. There are no viruses for Mac. Up until recently, this is a widely held belief. The truth is, because there were so many more people using Windows than Mac, there was just more money with malware for Windows. Now that that gap is shortening, there's tons of malware for Mac. Be careful. Apple slows down devices to get you to buy new ones. Apple actually admitted this in 2017, but they quickly stopped after $113 million in fines. You won't find Apple slowing their devices down anymore. Let me know which myth you still believe. Thanks for watching.